I am 75 pages into this book and it is insane but like I can't stop reading I'm so invested in the story hi guys so I am here because it is Friday night and I just had readings friends with my patrons and I'm here with Miss Lily she is under my feet right now she just wanted to cuddle during my readings friends we surrendered for two hours um typically we like chat we read for 30 minutes chat read for 30 minutes chat again so Miss Lily joined us and Lily's my dog if you didn't know but I started this book and it's Sky O'Malley by Bertra Small I was not planning on vlogging this but I have to record this experience. This book, I'm 65 pages in. I think I read 50 pages in an hour. It's taken me a long time to read this, but it is so good. I'm 65 pages in, so much has happened already. Like, this plot is already bonkers. Samantha, Books with Samantha, is my co-host for Historical Hellions. We run it together, and that's our book club. She is already super far in, and she says she has two pages of notes. She's like, these twists and turns are nuts, and I'm so excited. So I did look to the back to see who the love interest was, because I was like, who am I supposed to be rooting for? So she like falls love at first sight in love with this guy and her mom had all daughters her dad was very regretful of that and the doctor was like if she has another one she's gonna die and so the dad was very mad but sky was the last daughter born and her dad was like she is like so beautiful and she's unlike any other of my daughters he instantly like takes a liking to her takes her on his like pirating voyages because he's a pirate and she like grows up on a ship and he eventually all the men in here are awful, basically. So he eventually comes home and like can't control himself, gets his wife pregnant again, she dies. He remarries a 13 year old. Keep in mind the time period. This, oh, I don't even know what year it took place, but it's, does it even say? No, she's 15 in this whole book, which she gets married and pregnant at 15, but now it's like a year later, so she's 16 now. And the hero I think is in his late 20s. We're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna pretend they're both the same age and they're both like 20. So she is like supposed to be married off, but she meets this guy and she's like, oh my god, I love him. And everyone's conspiring against them though, forces them apart, and now they're married to other people. So that's how far I got so far, but I'm excited for like the bananas plot this is gonna take. I'm loving it. Definitely a lot of sexual assault in here though. The men can never control themselves and they're like really horrible people, but the dynamic between her and the hero is very interesting and I can see this playing out as a show so well. Very Game of Thrones-esque in like the relationships, so we'll see how it turns out i'm excited this is gonna be a show on apple tv apparently so i'll continue reading and report back on how it's going i have to finish it by tomorrow night so we'll see how it goes oh it's brighter now lighting's horrible i've already washed my face i've brushed my teeth i'm in bed what is this book holy holy crap i am 75 pages in i haven't even gotten that far and you're telling me that that just happened her husband is disgusting I just texted Samantha. I was like, are you, I don't want to do, I don't want to be too spoilery in this vlog. I want you to go read this and experience it yourself. I was like, what? And then she said, these are my notes. And she, she said, she sent me a screenshot of her notes. And, and then I was like, and then this happened. And she's like, insane. And I was like, what is happening? She said, I'm ahead of you. And it gets even crazier. I am 75 pages into this book and it is insane. But like, I can't stop reading. I'm so invested in the story, and I'm really invested in the romance. Like, I really want her and Niall to find, figure out a way to be together. I love them together, but, like, what is, what is this book? How did I not read it sooner? This is nuts. Like, absolutely nuts. Like, this easily could be, like, Game of Thrones kind of, like, level of insanity happening in this plot, so... I'm so invested. I'm gonna keep on reading. I know the lighting is horrible. My camera's having a really hard time focusing. It's 10.45. I am 95 pages in. This is taking me so long to read, but my favorite trope is happening. If you know what my favorite trope is, I don't read it a lot, but I'm obsessed with it. And I was like, what? How did this just happen? I was texting Samantha. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm texting Samantha my reactions. And she, cause she's ahead of me and she's like literally a reaction the same because <laughs> she sent me her notes. This is like literally, this is so iconic. So iconic, all the tropes. Like I'm like, did this just happened? Did this really just happened to her now? And now this is happening? Like right when you think things are good, obviously they're not gonna be good. I feel like her and Niall are soulmates. They are going to end up together some way, somehow, but I don't know how. <laughs> 
This is so funny because then she's like, how do we still have 12 hours of the audiobook left? Because bonkers things keep happening. I'm gonna keep reading and I'll probably not up to you again tonight, but I'll up to you again tomorrow. And I'm like really loving this. pages left definitely uh, still dramatic but it's slowed down because it's gotten more political which i really don't care about there's been more deaths the only way that they get out of marriages is by people dying so she's been married three times now all three of them have died and the hero has been married twice and she has like to figure out about all of her kids. I literally cannot keep track of her kids and whose kids they are because she has like a million kids now. Also whenever they talk about women marrying they're like 13, 14, 15 which I get is of the time period but still she is like worried about her kids and who she might have to marry and this guy wants her she doesn't there's so much sexual assault in here as well that she has to go through and other characters go through but something happens with that guy and a queen elizabeth really likes that guy but queen elizabeth's like i can never marry because i need to be a strong woman for the country and a strong queen and so it's like a lot of the politics with that and now she's like in kind of like this battle with the queen could care less. I want more of let's go jump on our ships and like go fight pirates kind of thing than like political trauma. So we'll see how the last pages go. Obviously her and Niall are gonna find their way back to each other because like they have to end up together. Like they're our love interests, but four more years have passed. This book spans like 10 years. So it's very like epic, like I said, but we'll see how the rest of their story goes. I finished the book. It's 7.50, so we're going live in 10 minutes, but I finished my book and I wanted to chat here about it. So this was a wild ride. I've already shared most of my thoughts while reading. It definitely slowed down like 300 pages in. This does say, I think, I don't know if I mentioned it. It says it's 460 pages, but it's a 20, 21 hour audiobook. So it's definitely longer than 460 pages, but the font is very tiny so I don't know how many words this would be but this was a very like epic romance from the start you knew that Niall and Skye wanted to be together they saw each other it was literally love at first sight but I didn't mind the love at first sight because they were torn apart so many times and it was it gets a little annoying with these kind of romances because it's like every man falls over his feet for the heroine but I feel like these were very like not idealistic but just imagine yourself in the shoes of the heroine and all of this happening to you. There's a lot of women taking a lot of agency with their sexuality and enjoying sex on page. There's a lot, a lot of sex in here, which is surprising for a 1980s historical romance to me. And it is one of those that I'm like, okay, now I get why like it's called a bodice ripper because there was a lot of it in here. But like, aside from Skye, she went through a lot of sexual assault in here. I feel like there were a lot of characters that really took control of their desire and like enjoyed sex which I feel like we didn't see a lot on page then and she fell in love so many times like we see her and Niall both having relationships with other people on page she had her first husband who was horrible fell in love with her second husband and then fell in love with how many yeah her third husband I was like how many husbands she had and her third husband and I like really truly believe she loved them and they really loved her there's a lot of infidelity in here but I also don't think that her husbands that she loved ever cheated on her either which was surprising and Niall obviously loves her he's a, a hard character to grapple with because he really tries his best to be good but he does some bad things like with his first wife and throughout the story so but there are like really nasty villainous characters who kind of do get their due though so it's just very interesting seeing what this book does with those characters and it's just a very interesting book i love the plot until we got to that mark where it became very political and i was like i don't really care about these things so i gave it four stars overall one of the most entertaining and like enthralling historicals especially from the beginning i had to talk to my sister about 150 pages and i was like this happened and, this happened. and i was like it's only been 150 pages i think at that point i was only like 120 pages in so many good different plot devices used that i really love and it just like was one thing after another after another i was like this pacing is amazing and i need all my historicals to do this so much action and adventure she's a pirate at one point like 
I thought she was such a cool character, especially because she was able to like run her family's business and her dad like let her and was like, you're taking over the family business now because you are so smart. And she is so smart. She's like one of the richest women in England. She was going head to head with the queen. Like she is very business savvy and just such an interesting character. This is what I wanted from Shanna by Kathleen Woodowitz. I thought Shanna was so damsel in distress. Every move she made put her at risk and like drove this plot in a negative way like oh she messed up oh she got kidnapped she did this she got him kidnapped and this one that's not what happened and I really loved how she drove the plot forward not by her mistakes but by things happening to her that she had to figure her way out of so it was really cool seeing that I just really love this I do need to get on my live now though to chat with Samantha and Lisa about it I know that Samantha really loved it and she has this whole page of notes she made a guide for the live show so she also vlogged this so books with Samantha go check her out see what her thoughts were but I don't know if I want to read the second book if you guys have read the second book let me know and let me know if Bertra Small has any more like this like I am thinking like this is feels so much like Shanna by Kathy Woodwist and like Connie Mason's books and I just love those historicals that just take you on an adventure you're not stuck in a ballroom in England you are literally going they went to so many places they did go to London but they were in Ireland she was shipwrecked and taken to a different country and it's just very interesting there was a lot of commentary on sex workers in here and like obviously there's things that really would not work today and you're like you shouldn't say things that way you shouldn't have been writing characters that way but do keep in mind this is in the 1980s so I do have that kind of lens when I read these books like this would not fly today at all like no, but in this context, in this story, I did appreciate the story for what it was doing, and it was just so entertaining. So check out Sky O'Malley if you are interested, and I'm excited to see if it becomes a TV show and what they do with the book. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you read this and what your thoughts were, and if you want me to read any other old school historicals, let me know. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.